welcoming you all to Swarit Advises. I am Sumiti Anand and today we are going to talk about something really important in this video. Let me ask you something. How would you feel if someone copied your work and took benefit of it? Particularly in today's scenario, in today's time, when anything over the internet can be copied and can be used. If you are a creator or an artist, if you write poems, songs or create YouTube videos or any kind of art, you would totally agree with me that how bad it feels when you put so much hard work into something and just goes into waste. That's all. I have something very important for you that can help you to have legal rights over your work and that is copyright law. We need to get copyright registration to have that ownership over our work. But before we get into the registration process, let's understand what is copyright exactly. Copyright is a form of intellectual property law. It is a set of exclusive rights given by the law to authors or inventors of artistic works, creators of musical work, producers, sound recordings of cinematography films etc in other words we can say that it's a heap of rights consisting of adaptation works translation rights concerning the reproduction of work and communication of that to the public you know that copyright ensures the minimum protection of authors rights over their pieces thereby protecting and rewarding creativity, something that is very important. The socio-economic advantage of a society is based upon creativity and I totally agree with that. The security granted by copyright to the shots of designers, architects, writers, musicians and producers of sound recordings, computer software etc. It builds an ecosystem that is conducive to creativity which convinces them which convinces the artist to create more and boost others to create without any fear of misuse and now let's understand that once you are a creator how do you get the copyright registration registration will make you the legal owner or proprietor of your creative endeavor in respect of website, music, books, paintings, mobile applications, etc. Copyright registration with authority secures the original work of an author or for that any creative person. No individual is authorized to use a similar work or a piece without the approval of the creator or author. Author is certified to fine others for using their work or change it without the original author's consent. Registration guards the creator's right against copyright infringement. Now we have to understand that how are you eligible for copyright registration? What are the works that need copyright registration? Fashion designs, performances, musical works, cinematography films, artistic works such as paintings, literary works such as manuscripts, books, your website, broadcast on radio and television, computer software and other computer programs and compilation, published editions. As I also said earlier that copyright registration is important so that it can protect our legal rights over our work, our creations. Let's understand what are the more benefits of copyright registration. The very first, the process of copyright registration assists in creating a public record. The term public record denotes that the owner's work is duly protected. Another very important benefit is that it acts as a legal evidence for the author or creator. It prevents the work from duplication and can be used as proof of ownership in front of the court. A duly registered copyright enables the owner to file a suit for infringement and take legal action against the infringer. You know, in India, registered copyright offers certain economic benefits also to the owner. Now, after obtaining copyright registration, only the author 
or creator has the right to change the form of work. For example, a registered copyright enables the owner to revise, update or make a sequel of his or her work. A duly registered copyright enables the owner to sell, transfer the rights of his or her work to another person. These were the benefits of copyright registration that we would, I am hoping, we would have understood these. Now let's discuss the required documents that are needed if you are going further with a copyright registration. Address proof and identity proof of the applicant along with the nationality. Disclosure of the interest of the applicant in copyright, whether the applicant is the author of the work or the legal representative of the author. In case of a company or a business, you have to submit an incorporation certificate. Now submit two copies of the original work. Title, class, description of the work is needed. Details of the work's nature, what kind of work it is. What is the work's language? Publication date, publication in magazines or in research paper submitted to a professor does not count as publication. The basic documents are required for one and all. Besides these documents that we just discussed, different documents are required for music, artistic work, sound recordings, literary and dramatic work, cinematography, films, etc. Now let's move on to the most important part of the video. Copyright registration process. What exactly goes into this process? The very first step, create the applicant's user ID and password. Step 2 would be to file the application form for the copyright registration. Moving on to step 3, examine your application properly of the copyright registration before submitting it. And after that, issuance of registration certificate will take place. Now, after understanding this whole process, why us? Why Swarit advisors? For copyright registration in India, you can bank upon Swarit advisors in order to file a proper and correct application for your copyright registration. We have a unit of IPR experts who will support you in getting registration in a very smooth manner. Safeguard your masterpiece. Safeguard your visionary masterpiece with Swarit advisors and keep creating. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.